Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing that makes the data easy for the school system people or a nonprofit or whoever you're analyzing this data for to look at it and play with it and think about what they're looking at. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to make pull down menus where they can pull down to filter on different subcategory variables like gender or race or grade level and graph the data for students in that category. And we can put two side by side so they can compare like the boys to the girls, the high school kids to the middle school kids as far as their answers go. And this is very simple to do and it makes the data so much more useful for thinking about what it tells you. So the first thing we need to do is to get pull down menus of the the variables that we're going to use as subcategories. Now the cleanest way to do this is to make a separate tab that is going to have our lists. This is the list of what we're going to put on the pull down menus. Now you can you can do this without all these steps but then you end up with something that's a, kind of sloppy and you're making this as a template to use over and over so you don't want to be sloppy. So we'll put our lists here. Let's have a gender list. And the list has to be exactly the same as the gender choices. And this one, other rather not say, male and female. And we can get them right here. If we copy them, then they will be exact. And I think I want this one to be last. And you can move things around like that in Excel. Okay, so there's gender. And then let's do our grade, grade level. And that goes from one, and I will write a formula. No, it goes from fourth grade fourth grade and then equals one plus the grade before that and we go down to 12 so we don't need that okay so for now we'll just use these lists but we could put whatever we want here and we're going to use these to make pull down menus so go back to the charts and let's start here we go to data, the data tab, and over here is data validation. And data validation tells us what can be in this cell. And it's naturally set to any value because you can type anything in any cell. But we are going to restrict it to a list. And we click here and now go over to our lists. Get this out of the way and just select this. And see, it, it writes the code for us on the list tab from A1 to A4. And say OK. And we'll put gender so that we know, we'll select gender. So that's sitting there. And then the different genders are here, and you can choose them. And then do the same thing here. We want a list. We'll click in the source and then go over here and get the list. And it comes out blank, but if we choose grade level, it'll be sitting there. Okay, so then our lists are labeled and we know where they are. And now we are going to make a graph. Okay, we are going to put what we're going to graph here and then we will put the graph on top of it so it won't show. And I, what I did is I took the first item, I get good grades in math, and I put all the possible responses. And now we're going to write formulas that will pull all of these responses for whichever gender and grade level is chosen. And the way that you do that is very similar to what we did before. Before we just did count if. If you look over here at all results, it was 
count if column P on that paste data tab matched B2. Well, when you use count ifs with an S, you get to say if column P matches B, B21 and the gender column matches whatever's here and the grade level col column matches whatever's here. And you do that with the formula equals count ifs with an S. It's plural because we're counting more than one. One thing is going to be true. So count ifs, we want the strongly agrees for I get good grades. So go over here and take it down to 4,000. And then comma, what are you going to need to match? We need to match this, the strongly agree. And then instead of closing it off, we put a comma so we can give the next condition, which will be over here, the gender, and take it down to 4,000. And we better put dollar signs on these. And as I warned you before, your primary mistake is going to be forgetting the dollar signs. Okay. So if the gender, and then if the gender equals what, so we come over here and say the gender equals whatever is in that cell. And that way, when they use the pull down menu, it'll switch based on what they've chosen. And then we can do comma. And now we want the grade level. So over here, grade level is in G. Put the dollar sign on the number because we're going to paste it down. And this needs a dollar sign and make it 4,000. If you ever get more than 4,000 entries, you need to change all these numbers. Okay, and you're going to count if column G equals whatever's in here. And close it off. And we're going to get zero because these are not in the cells. But if we were to change it, so sixth grade females, 21 strongly agreed with that. Now let's see if we can paste this down. I think we can. Okay, why'd we get a zero? Because it's going to be a dollar sign mistake. Now I could have edited out this mistake, but I left it in here because there is no way you will do all this without making a mistake. So you have to know how to, what to look for to fix your mistakes. And it's always those dollar signs. 90% of the time, that's what it's going to be. So I just assume it is. But if we look here, the reason we got zero, I did not put a dollar sign on, this is A20. We're looking to match what's in A20. There's no dollar signs. So here, we're looking to match what's in A21. And we're looking for the gender to match 6. And that's never going to match. That's why we got a 0. So we have to go up here and we want, it's going to stay A. But we need the dollar sign on that 20. And here, this is for what the grade's going to match. It's got to match the cell 21. And I think that's going to fix it. Yep, it did. And you could put what, whatever you want here for them to be able. You might, for the grades, you might make a new variable that combines all the middle school grades and high school. And now select this. Go to Insert. Recommended charts. I always go to my templates. You can choose any template you want. Uh, let's use our 
like a chart template and let's put it whoop, undo hide that and let's put the six in the middle you know what I'm going to move this so I can hide it easier and if you as long as you move it that way where you've got it selected and you move the whole box all the formulas just update the way they should and we could have put formulas in to make these percents and we probably should have but for now I'm not going to but if we wanted to make this percents well I'll go ahead and do it copy this and here is going to be equals this over the sum of all of these and these need dollar signs because we're going to paste this down but we want it to stay the sum of F21 to F25 and let's make it percents and now what we can do see how this all got highlighted I think we can just bring it down Kind of hard to do well that's the same so I'll leave it okay so this is we, we could even put put these in the title if we wanted to by putting over here equals this uh, let's say grade equals quote grade space end quote and that and let's put a space in quote space quote and gender and let me move this for a second so we can get at the title okay grade six female and and let's put a colon and that has to be in quotes colon space quote colon space quote and I don't know what happened there a second ago and whatever was written there and then we could put and where I'm going to put the n quote space n equals space and the quote and sum of these okay so that's what we want for the title and see how it will change when we change the pull down menus and then to make it actually be the title of this let's drag this up and get a hold of it right and then here just put equals and click in that cell and I might want to take the font down and here what I did was I just made another 
another set of pull down menus in the same, see under here, the same set of equations and formulas so that someone could compare side by side the 12th grade females to the 12th grade males. Pretty much the same. And maybe you want to compare the 8th grade males to the 12th grade males. Different. A lot more 8th graders th disagree that they're good at math than 12th graders. But anyway, so this, you get the idea, this lets you compare things. And you could put as many f pull down menus here as you wanted. So you get the idea. Here you could compare any of these to the overall, which is graphed up here. And since this is going to be a template, and you also want to give it to the school system people or whoever you're working with, so that they can look at the data and make comparisons and ask themselves questions. So you go to the trouble of putting everything in here once. It takes a little bit of time, but it's not hard because it's the same things over and over. And um, then you can update this, you use it next year, you use it as more data comes in, and it is well worth the effort.